Hey, we're uh, working on an RV camper. Um, I've got the Happy Jack bed lift system, and the problem is that the alignment pins at the top that hold the top trap or the top trolley up, you can't get them in. So let's take a look at that. These are the pins I'm talking about. Um, you know, there's one way you can go to the motor and try and adjust the rod up there so the flats move, you know, in increments. There's also an adjustment internally here. That's not real obvious. So the first thing you do is um, go ahead and take the bed off with the screws, you know, underneath here and get that bed off of there. Now, the next thing I did, this I've done the first one already. The next thing I did was get it at a working height and then look inside here and note where the top of this piece is right here. The piece that's actually, this is bolted onto, it's right there. This mark here and this mark here are where the clamps are on the back side of that plate that grab the chain. And I've got these bolts already replaced, but one of them out. So there's a couple tricks to this. Um, first off, get this whole bracket off, and I'll show you some still shots too. Uh, I did cut a three-quarter inch long bolt. Just cut the head off it and used it to help hold everything in place while I got the clamp back attached to the moving piece. All right, and then of course, there's an upper piece here that slides, once you take this bracket off, this slides loose. It's probably easier just to, I just use something to hold it up in the air so it's not sliding down and blocking your work area here. So uh, I've got a second one to do over here and I'll get some still shots of what that clamp looks like and how to reassemble that. And hopefully, I've already tried this. Uh, this actually runs into the upper bracket, okay? And there is about a half inch of play in here where the adjustment automatically stops. Remember, anytime you bring this bracket up higher, the bed, lower bed up higher, when it comes down, of course, the legs may not hit the floor. So you don't want to move this bracket more than, you know, one tooth one way or the other. I don't think a half inch will make a difference. But if you move it an inch or two, it's definitely going to make a difference on how the beds align and whether or not this post will even get to the floor. All right, so bear that in mind when you're doing all this work. I'll add on that when I took this apart, this bracket stayed in there. So what the heck, I might as well come out here, kind of mark where that thing is on the, on the paint here. So that I'll know when I've got it moved up one tooth, just looking straight at it again. Let me just go in here and take it out and slide it up one. Oh, that looks like two. Go down one. Anyway. We'll fool around with that and get it figured out. Oops. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah, it looked like a klutz, but this is how you learn. So that's what we, the threads are in here, and then there's another bracket that, that clamps on here that you also need to get. It's in here somewhere. Oh, here it is, down here. That goes in between. Hold on. I believe the assembly probably goes like this. It's a picture of the uh, clamp assembly that goes on the chain. There's the teeth. It goes in the track flatwise this way and grips that chain. And that's the keeper on the underside there. I've also, you can also see my bolt, a temporary bolt that I've got in there. It helps me position this inside there and align it with the bracket uh, that you're going to attach to there. So you can get this bolt through one of those holes temporarily. Just kind of hold it while you get the upper screw put in position and started. Also don't forget that the threads on those bolts are uh, they're self-tapping. So if you be careful putting it back in or you'll strip them out. A little a small little problem. Trying to get those brackets around that chain and hold them there while trying to get it down and get it into these screw holes very difficult to do so what I've done is got a small bolt cut the head off and then screwed it in just far enough so that I can get a hold of the back plate align the front plate and still push that thing all the way back in there so that I can get the uh, plate to come up over the top of it so what I did was I put the pencil on like I said I was gonna do 
And this bracket actually starts out about one tooth below the pencil line. So if you put the mark at the top of that movable piece down there, not the upper one, but the top of the bottom one, put your mark and then put your bracket, top of the bracket in line with your mark. All right, here you can see I've got the thing started. I've got it just held here with this while I'm holding the camera. And I have my three quarter inch bolt here started so that I can fool around with this thing once I tuck it back inside. You see I brought the chain out of the track there a little bit so I can kind of get everything on there and it'll just slip right back in. If this is longer than three quarters of an inch, it won't be able to go back in there and get the bracket up over it. So three quarters of an inch there and then we'll go ahead and reassemble it. This so while reassembly that we have on the right, one that is a self-tapping screw and on the left, one that is a regular screw. The regular ones are the ones that go into the clamp that grips the chain because there's only two of them there and I got four of the tap, meaning the four that hold the brackets onto the mechanism, the, uh, the bed supports. Here's another tip. Once you get started on this project, don't move the bed, <laughs> don't move the mechanism up and down when you've got all that stuff unclamped off the chain or you'll never figure out where to put it back on again. Stop the chain where you want to work, mark the locations of where your brackets are, move them up one if that's what you need or down whatever you think it takes and then go ahead and reassemble do not move anything in between or you're gonna have a hard time figuring out where to put it back in good luck the cabinets voila so how do they work well they're attached as you can see they're attached to the uh the bed and i've built them tall enough so that they can go down to the floor without bottoming it out they're about a quarter of an inch from these wheels the wheels are on there because I can actually take this thing, I built this mechanism on the side so that I can easily take this bed off of here. This is like a, like a little, um, call them a draw latch to hold that up there against the bottom of the bed. But I can bring that down, drop it down and roll it around then if I want to get it in the truck or roll it around outside or whatever I want to do. Then I've got a light that I added on here because I just didn't like the interior lighting inside these things. It's really dark, so I added a 34 watt LED light. I still need to wire it in down here. Getting the door open, I made a special uh, hinge mechanism here that allows the door to drop down like that and then come out and miss the light. That was a uh, mistake I had to overcome. When the door comes down like this. I could hang tools on here if I wanted. I can fold this up this way and lock it up so that it's not hanging down, see out the window. So this is gonna be a great little addition. Now I'm sure Happy Jack isn't very happy that I'm gonna try and lift weight with this. There is a, I think a moving load limit on the whole system of 450 pounds. Well, I'm sure the beds are at least a couple hundred. So putting 50 in each one of these or, or that much is probably not a good idea, but I'm willing to fix the motors when the plastic gear breaks in them or add another one on too, either way. So that's what these boxes are all about. And I think it's gonna make a nice addition to uh, the workspace out here in the garage, the man cave. Okay, so I did improve the where that mechanism goes. You'll notice I'm gonna move this thing up and down now. So this is the one I fixed. If I go down, watch the bottom bracket, it's gonna come up and raise the upper one. Runs into it, lifts it. There's your little bit of play right there. That's one tooth. Without that space, I couldn't get that pin in. Here's what the other side looks like. It's extremely close. This side over here, this camera up here, when I go up and down, you'll notice that top bracket doesn't move, but maybe a half a hole. It's extreme, almost nothing, but just enough to get the pin through the hole. So, my adjustments over here, we're a complete success. I can now put those pins in without fooling around with up and down and all that. My center post does in fact, well, I can zoom out even, look at that. My center post here does in fact come down and hit the floor like it's supposed to. We're all good and happy. Hey, uh, anybody, oh, yeah, you might notice these cabinets too. I've got something later on here to tell you about those as well.